Hello guys, this video we will see how to install and configure MIT KDC server. So first we need to switch to root user. So you can just use sudo su to switch to root user. And once prompted, type the password. So osboxes.org. Right. So right now I did login to root user or you can do with the sudo also what we need is we need uh, some administrator privileges to do the installation so first we need to install the packages so use m utility hyphen y so that it won't ask that yes or no install krb5 hyphen server then krb5 hyphen lips krb5 hyphen workstation okay so these are the packages you need to install for setting up kerberos server so krb5 server krb5 lips and krb5 workstation go ahead and hit enter okay once this is done the next step is open and edit krb5.conf file go to etc krb5.conf okay so this is the main configuration file you need to edit and uh, first you need to set up okay which uh, domain name you want or ream in, in terms of the kerberos we call the name as a ream so just uh, write the ream as any name so if you want to choose example.com yes that is fine in my case i'm just changing to hadoop.com and uh, these two parameter i need to set kdc and admin server so this is the server where i am installing kdc and admin setup okay in my case so my server name is uh, this machine's host name so that is node1.hadoop.com so update that values for kdc and admin server name right so kdc add the name and uh, admin server add that name and here so we have to change this to example.com with uh, whatever the domain name we have set so in my case it's hadoop.com so here also so just uh, replace this example with uh, hadoop right so here also right so these are the changes you need to make so just change the ream name and kdc and admin server name that's it so once that is done go ahead and save this file okay so next i have to create a my initial database or database for kerberos so let me clear the screen i use the command krb5 underscore util sorry not krb5 kdb5 underscore util create iphone s so iphone s means the silent mode it will take the default uh, settings and create the database for this kerberos okay so it's saying like a configuration file does not specify the default ream so i'll have to change this yes this one also we need to change so this i have to change it to hadoop.com okay one more parameter i missed the default ream so because of that i got a warning message or error message while creating so go ahead and type see this kdb5 util command so initially it's going to create a, a principle so any entries in kerberos is called principle so this is the entry which is going to create and it's asking for a password for that so type one password so once prompted again type so now we have created initial database and uh, it has initialized the database for hadoop.com and that's it so next we will have to start the services so mainly two services we need to start krb5 kdc and kadmin 
so we use the command system ctl start krb5 kdc and kadmin so these two services i need to start and in order to make sure like the next reboot onwards so this has to be always up and running i can do enable so that the next reboot onwards the services will be always up and running so this is similar to uh, service a chk config command in rhl6 but in rhl7 it's a system ctl enable so next uh, uh, we will have to create a uh, initial admin principle so i'm going to create my own admin principle i can just use the command k admin dot local uh, so if i use that i will get uh, connection to this Kerberos uh, MIT Kerberos okay so now I have a full access but this will work only from the root user where you have installed MIT Kerberos I'm just adding the command add prints okay admin slash admin at hadoop.com you can use by default the ream name will be appended like a root at admin similar to that admin slash admin Okay, you can see that is automatically added with the domain name so this is asking for a password for this principle just uh, type that now I have created a principle called admin slash admin at hadoop.com so principle means any entry like any user ID that we create in Unix similarly here we call principle so I have an option like a list princess that is listing all the principles available in this Kerberos so let me quit from here and connect using this principle which I created so I can use kadmin admin p okay so I think uh, so this is not having uh, the privileges proper privileges so let me uh, change or uh, add the uh, permission for this file uh, I mean the principle so I can open slash var Kerberos krb5 uh, kdc then k admin dot acl okay so this is the file i need to edit so here star means any name slash admin at example.com so in our case the domain name is hadoop.com okay so any principle with this naming pattern will have a full privileges okay so next i need to restart the services k admin I use system CTL restart k admin. Now let me k admin iPhone p admin slash admin at So looks like uh, there is some problem with uh, Kerberos so we will have to uh, sort it out so if this is not connecting for a long time so definitely there will be something wrong with the uh, either configuration or at the network side or anything so uh, here again so this is uh, where we can type the pass without uh, add the password in the command line itself or this also should be fine but here it's saying like cannot contact kdc ream so that means either our uh, service is not running so let's uh, just uh, take host name and uh, try to check whether the service is running here or not telnet 88 yes here is a problem okay so it's not able to tell net that means either firewall or something wrong with the ip okay it's saying no route to host 
so no road to host means if you just type if config yes my ip is this one and but this is trying to resolve to this ip address so let me check etc host file yes correct so my host name is node 1 and instead of uh, 7 it's a return as 6 i'll just go ahead and edit etc host file then let me comment it out and uh, change it to 7 and uh, save now if i do the telnet yes this is connecting so now definitely my k admin so this will work this should work right so i connected here or at least this also will work in that case you have to type the password so now if i use list princess yes i have so i, I let me just type add prints a b c d something just to type password right and uh, if i can use the list princess to list the principal and whatever the user we created is here so this id is an admin so you can add any admin like if you use the naming combination like some name slash admin because in acl file we have given full access for that so similarly you can create a non admin uh, user principle also here like using add prints command so in cloudera or hortonworks kerbero setup so you need a principle with admin privilege so in that case you can use this privilege or, or this principle or create another principle with admin privilege so that's it about installation and configuration of mit kerbero server so with that, this concludes this demonstration. We'll see you in the next video. Thank you.